I was offered a deal. Uh, they let me out. I leave the country and stop. I said, no, I'm not leaving the country. And uh, so I stayed in prison. Ganija Ismailova is the leading figure in the fight to expose corruption in Azerbaijan. The government blackmailed and arrested Khadija and ultimately threw her in prison for exposing its corruption. Once released, Khadija was banned from leaving Azerbaijan for five years. Now staying with family in Turkey, she vows she will return home to continue her work. I am Khadija Ismailova. I am investigative journalist based in Baku, Azerbaijan. I work with uh, Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project. I uh, authored uh, investigations about uh, wealth, illegally obtained wealth of uh, Azerbaijani high-level officials. Well, Azerbaijan is a country where uh, economy is almost fully monopolized by oligarchs uh, like uh, ministers, president's family, uh, other officials. They uh, spend a lot of money on propaganda. The uh, TV stations tell us all day how good the situation in Azerbaijan is. But one of my friends, he said a wonderful thing about it. Uh, no matter what TV set is telling you, there is always a truth-telling machine in your house. It's a refrigerator. If it's empty, it's empty. And people will not believe in propaganda, what uh, propaganda flowing from TV. Journalists in Azerbaijan have always faced harassment and uh, uh, a lot of people have been subject to intimidation, beating, In 2011, I did an investigation. I found companies in Panama registered by the president's family members, his wife, his two daughters. And uh, those companies had been used to get public contracts and uh, they were basically behind the holdings that were in the monopolist position in the market. First, there were like nine companies uh, that we found in Panama that were registered by president's daughter, uh, two daughters, and the first lady. The story was also about the, that company entering the market without any competition, without any bid to get licenses, and was in favorable position in the market. Well, after that story, I continued doing so, and those Panamanian companies were behind many other businesses, including the gold mines, the, um, the big holding that had public contracts. So I continued doing this uh, investigations. And in March 2012, I, uh, I sent another re request for information to the government and this request of, for information was revealing my plans about the, uh, the investigation, next investigation. It was questions to the government about the, uh, the investigation that I've been working on. And uh, then I received a letter with warning and uh, accompanied with still pictures from the video depicting me in... Uh, in my bedroom, in intimate situation with my boyfriend. In Azerbaijan, it's a big deal because uh, it's a conservative country. Women are not supposed to have extramarital relations. And, uh, I, and I was not married. And uh, so it was a big deal. So it was, uh, it was very risky. Maybe, maybe they were expecting that I would step back but they should learn their subjects a bit better. After that, I've been arrested after another investigation in 2014 and uh, was sentenced to seven and a half years in jail. Then after 
the huge international campaign for my release uh, in in 2016, I was released conditionally, uh, and my sentence was reduced to three and a half years. Well, uh, it wasn't uh, as much as of a favor because in uh, when they released me conditionally, they also sentenced me to five years of probation. And uh, five years of probation means that if I get do anything wrong, I will be arrested again uh, during these five years. Uh, and uh, if I, uh, I have to go every month and see the bailiff, tell him that I behave. And uh, then, uh, and it mean, meant five years of the travel ban. And travel ban is basically very you you can you cannot leave the country in 2018 my mother died in Ankara in the hospital and uh, they didn't let me come and see her in Ankara and uh, so it was uh, basically you you feel like when you are in prison you are in prison there are walls when you are on the travel ban, the whole country feels like it is a prison. But during these years, I continued doing investigations. And uh, the, the most effective one was the uh, investigation on Azerbaijani laundromat that, OC, that I was part of as OCCRP team. And... Uh, uh, that investigation was the most effective one because there were proofs that uh, from accounts related to uh, to Azerbaijani government officials or their relatives, siblings, friends, uh, European politicians had been bribed. <laughs> the bribes and paybacks had been paid from public contracts. Like this investigation had given a proof for a lot of cross-border crimes that had been committed and Azerbaijani government officials were part of it. It's impossible to hide corruption. Corruption shows in... Uh, because corrupt people are not able to hide their wealth within the limits. They are not able to live in limits. Again, there will always be a truth-telling machine in the people's house that will tell the truth and tell the difference between their lifestyle and the lifestyle of those who are stealing their opportunities. And uh, one day people be will get really angry. So it's important that uh, people realize that. And it is important that uh, those who have power in the world start act about it. Those who can make an impact start act about it.